Hello, welcome back. This is Christian. In this lesson, we're going to implement a function to insert a new node before an existing node in a singly linked list using Python. So here's an example. Let's say if you want to insert the frog in front of the mouse. Okay, so typically the way you do is you create two nodes, one to point to the current node as you traverse down the list. And then we have another node called previous or previous node that points to the previous node. So these two nodes will be incremented uh, sequentially uh, uh, down the, the list until the current node finds the matching key. Once you find the key, then we want to do two operations. First, we want to set the current new node, which is the new node here, the next pointer is gonna be assigned with the uh, current node. So it points to this current node. And then we're gonna point the previous next node to the current node. And so in this way, we actually break in this bond, this link right here, okay? If you don't do that, you might break the bond. Now, of course, some people might like to do it just with, with one uh, additional node where you can check for the next dot next as the current node, and then you don't have to have an extra node here. But I mean, that's okay. You can do it in several ways. I like to do this way because you have two nodes to, to deal with, and you always focus on the current node. Okay, so this is one case where you insert a node between two nodes. There's another case where the first node might be the key. So if that's the case, then we have to do a prepend. So the process is the same as a prepend. And I think I have a diagram for this as well. So yeah, it'll be like this. Let's say that the target is the dog. And since it's the first node, then we want to do the operation very similar to, kind of similar to before. We want to assign the new node's next pointer to the current node, in this case, it's the head. And then since this is the head, we want to update the head node to point to the new node. So the new node will become its new head. If you don't do the update, you got to get the head pointing to the second node and that's incorrect. Okay, a little bit tricky, but you know, lots of trials and errors we ask you to, but let's go and see how this is done in Python. Okay, so back here in the IDE, here's a beautiful list of all these emojis here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna close this window over here, a little bit too many panels. Um, all right, okay, so let's, um, let, me, let me close this for now. It's a little bit distracting. Okay, let's go to our uh, list over here and we're gonna insert a node, um, a function right below here. Maybe right here, we call it uh, insert before key. We will take the self, the key, and the new item to be inserted. And then we're going to say, again, a base case, if self.head is null or none, then we return nothing, okay? So that's, that's we can skip that. Again, you don't have to do this, but it's it's kind of common because I'm gonna check down here anyway, right? Because I check in the loop anyway. Um, anyway, so if you notice in the previous one, where you insert after, notice we sent the key to a search function up here. And this search function will return the node matching that particular key, right? And then we just insert after that. In this case, we can't do that because, you know, if you, even though if you found the current key, we still need to know what the previous node is, right? So in, in a way, we have to kind of do this manually ourselves, which is not too difficult. So first let's create a new node. It's gonna be assigned to the new node instance of the node class. And then we're gonna create two additional nodes, the current node. This is assigned uh, with the head node, so from the head. And then we have a previous node, we'd be pointing to none yet, okay? It's not, not assigned yet. So the idea is that we're gonna traverse the list. So we say while the current node is not equal to null or none. I mean, it's not the end of the list yet. Then right away, you wanna do this. You wanna do a previous node. It's gonna be assigned to the current node. And then the current node is gonna be a point assigned to uh, with the next node, which is the current.next, okay? So you make sure you do that before you forget because that can cause your, your code to um, be an infinite loop. So what right above here, then we need to check to see if the current node is the key, right? If the current node, the item is indeed the key. If that's so, then we found it. And then two things can happen, right? So the first thing is, of course, we want to set the new nodes next right away to the current node, okay? 
And then now we have the two special cases. If the current node is the head node, that means that we have to assign the, the head to this current node. Otherwise, we just go to previous.next, assign to the new node, right? So we're to two special case. So here we put here, um, you know, uh, insert um, before head or something like that, okay? So that means that if the previous node, how do we know this? If the previous node is none, that means that we have never, you know, touched the previous node at all. So as we run it for the very first time, it matches the first node already and we found it. So if that's the case, then the previous node will always be null, right? Otherwise, we would have set it down here already, so it's not true, okay? If that's the case, then we actually, um, what did I do? We found that we just set itself down head to the new node and then we're done. Else, that means we're gonna move to the previous node. And it'll be the previous node that next assigned with the new node, okay? And that's it, right? Otherwise, if it's the head node, then the head doesn't have, if the head is indeed null, um, yeah, if, if you if you do it incorrectly, you're gonna get, yeah, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be correct. Um, so we want to make sure we do it correctly. Okay, and then finally down here, make sure we update the self that size one, and then we can just do a return here is one. Okay, we can turn or we can do a break to break out of the loop, it doesn't really matter. Um, some people don't like too many return statements in the function. Some don't mind. You know, some people prefer just to have one return statements in the function. That's something that you can debate at a different time. Um, some people like to have a very pure object oriented approach where there's only one return statements. I don't know, I'm not a purist, so uh, whichever is can mean which is best, you can use that, okay? But it is, can be very confusing if you have a lot of return statements. So, I mean, don't overdo it. Uh, and with a simple one like this, it's fine. Okay, so if that's the case, then I think we should be good to go. Um, so let's give it a test and see if it works. Let's go over here and let's say that one, I wanted to copy this right below here. Oh, this is growing. And um, so I wanna print, maybe I put a message here. Uh, I'll do insert at the, okay. Maybe I should do this as well up here, you know, put this one here. Do insert before. Um, I should do this after as well, right? I'm not sure why I have two of these. What do I have to? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, the, the tail and the, um, the head. Okay, that's fine. So focus on this one here, okay? This is this going to be uh, before. So before. Okay, so I'm going to pick a different um, animal. I uh, already got the lion, so. I have my emojis site here, you wanna look at it. This is the site I used to get all the emojis from, getemoji.com, a <laughs> very beautiful site. So I'm gonna use the rooster select here. Okay, rooster, you have the monkey. Um, let, let's go with, let's go with the rooster. Okay, uh, looks pretty good to me. And so we're gonna replace the line with the rooster and I'm gonna insert before, uh, let's go before the cat, okay. So um, before the cat, all right. So let's see what this looks like. And let's give it a draw, test try. Oh, here we go. Let me make this a little bit tall over here. All right, so here we have, this is the one right here, okay? The previous list looks like this. This is just the reverse, right? So the, the list uh, for this function, like 23, is actually this one here. So we have the cat right here. And we're gonna insert before the cat. So as you can see the new list down here, there's a cat and here's the rooster before the cat. Mm, okay, so look good. All right, so let's do another one. This time we're gonna print uh, again, make sure we, we test that, um, pass that test this before the head, okay? So the head is the frog. So let me copy the frog Put it down here. And let's pick a different animal for the frog, before the frog. Uh, let's pick a, I don't know, a lobster. Lobster looks good to me. And the lobster goes before the frog. So lobster should be number one. And here we go. And there it is down here. I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can see it's down here, okay? 
Maybe I should clear this. Sorry, one more time. Boom, there it is. All right, so here's the frog and before the lobster is indeed now the front. Excellent. All right, so this is the implementation again. Uh, really look very, you know, not that difficult. Just be careful when you insert before the head, you have to make sure that you update the head and, and otherwise you don't lose, otherwise you lose the head as the pointer. All right, so in the next video, we're going to do a delete and we'll delete the node at the tail of the list or the head. I don't know which one yet, but we'll do one of those. Thank you.